I like customization, you like customization, and I know I just found out that our boys from the Dark Portal just got a bunch of new stuff. So their skin color is kind of all the same, I believe. Nothing too new that I can tell as far as I know. The faces again, nothing really too different. The hairstyle though, there's a couple new ones. I believe starting with this wedge, I believe. Very nice, kind of just basically a mohawk. You got the high knot. Eh, I'm not a big fan of that one. You got the blade fist. Not kind of, don't mind it. This, from the front, it looks weird. From the side, not too bad. Razor, I almost read that as Rexar. It, it, it's like a mohawk with extra braids. It's not too bad. Baron's is very bald, like you're some kind of crazy old drunk man. This one I like the most, though. It's very uh, warlocky. I like it. Just screams warlock. Your hair color, obviously all the same yet. But we're going to go with this purple one, just because I think it looks good. Now this, you don't have too much differences. I mean, you have all your originals, everything you had before. And then you got, like, this boy. That looks good, I think. That's a nice combination there. And then you got this nice one. Very cool. I like the metal bit. I like this all braided, how it looks. This one is kind of my second favorite. I like the metal piece down there. It, it also, uh, if I could speak, I think it shaped that into the horse symbol. That'd be really cool, but I guess that would be kind of odd and weird. But, it, again, that's just my opinion. I like this little bit here. It just, I don't know. I just like the way it looks, personally. You got the two braids. The tusks. So I, I guess you broke someone's tooth off and shoved it in your hair. Nice thin. For a young orc. The sideburns. Well, these... Got the little mutton chops right there. A little bit lower. A little bit fuller. I guess I should make him bald. There you go. You can see it a lot better. Very, uh... Eh. I don't know. Bushy. Very... I think that's much better. Thick. Now this would go good with a beard. You got these long ones. Very good. Very good. And braid it. Eh, a little, little over the top, but hey, orcs do orcs, man. These ones, uh, I'm going to say right now, these ones are shit. These are shit. I do not like these at all. I like the little middle bit, but these are shit. I don't like it at all. I think it looks terrible. Now, of course, everyone has these new eyes, but we're going to go through all of them. You got your amber colored eyes. You got your blue eyes. You got your, I guess, hazel eyes. Red eyes. Gray eyes. Piss green yellow? Like a dark light blue. Huge pupils. Man, there's all sorts of fun eyes. You got double blind if you want to be a cool blind shaman like Drek'thar. You got the one blind eye. Blind eye on the other side. You don't really get a whole lot for a blind eye on the other side. Then they totally did. They should have more eyes on this side that are blind too. Because that would be kind of nice. Because I'm pretty sure that's where your eye patch goes for the transmog. Now for your earrings. As you can see here, you got a twisty tusk with some earrings. You got six, well, technically five, because you obviously I wouldn't count none as an option. You got upper, which is just a bunch of rings. Spikes, which is just spikes on this side for some reason. I don't know why they didn't do this ear, but I'm sure there's a lore reason. Very nice, very nice. Plugs, eh, you know, whatever. Tusks, as we saw earlier, a little twisty, little earrings. Then you got rings. Uh, everyone's getting rings, it seems like, in the ear. And bones. You got three. You can have a piece of gold. You got tauren. You got iron. Really wanted to. Or you could just go weird shaman and have double, not shaman, but voodoo witch doctor and have them come out of your nose. Now you got three different tusks, actually. They got the golden root one. You really can't see it all that well. They should kind of bring it up in just a hair more. Because if you look at it in, uh, from the front, you really can't see it. Barely sticking out of the lip, but... You got some gold, you got some bling, and you got this one, which would go great with this scar, and if you had like an older or like battle, you know, broke your tusk off during a fight or something. And then you got the iron band, which kind of works a lot better, something you should do with the gold. I know it says root, but they could bring it up just a hair more, maybe so you could see it. Otherwise, it's really just an option you can't see, and there's not a whole lot you can really care about. And now, you're, these, you only got three. So, I guess these are different... They're called swipe, cut, and burn, so I'm guessing these are different ways you got it. So obviously here, swipe, I'm guessing from some kind of animal. Cut, it really, it's just on the lip, so it's not too fancy. You got burn, which is all on the side of the face. Another one that is good for a warlock. I don't think orcs can be mages, though. If they can, that would also be a good option. And you got mouth. Eh, this one, I really, 
I don't really understand the grime all that much. This is just, I guess, to give you some dirt. You got the eyes, which kind of goes around the mouth and near the eyeballs. This is a little lighter on the jaw here. And then you have none, which just, I think it's rid of all the dirt. I don't really get this option. I'm sure there's a reason. I'm sure people would like it, but... I mean, I don't really see the purpose of it. And then here you can obviously do upright, where you hunch over. And you got your different tattoos. Razor fin. Very, very nice. Very, very good. You got strength. This one, I might... This is the one I would go with. I went for a bald orc. Very much a good one. And you got gladiator. This one is also another good one. A lot of tattoo ongoing. And you get your war paint. Which is... Comes in bloodlust. Ghost. And beast. Here's ghost. Oh, no, this is bloodlust. My bad. I can't even read. Not bad. Ghost. Kind of goes well with Gladiator, I think, in my opinion. Very good. And then, obviously, Beast. Very nice. Eh, this one actually doesn't... doesn't. Uh, this one actually goes well with Gladiator 2. So uh, you can have all sorts of mix and matches of uh, different ones that could work probably well together. This one kind of seems to go well with this one, I think. And then you got your three options. You got, oh, I guess four. You got white, like a light blue, a yellow, and a red. The red one, I think, is the best one. But that's just me. But now let's check out the females. Kind of have the same thing going on, but a little bit different faces. Again, nothing too new. Let's go with this one. A little battle-hardened orc skin color. Nothing too different, as far as I can see. But the zombie almost one. Hair color. Nothing too different and fancy. I just did that one. Eyes, same as the male. Everyone's got the same eyes on their species. I don't like the giant pupils. I, they creep me out a little bit. A little creepy. And then you got different scars. Now see, her, the scars on the female orc are a lot different than the male orc. I can just go... Where is it? There you go. You know that works. So if I just quickly take off her stuff. Just so we can see this a little better. Uh, so this one is from a blade. You got like a nice huge cut right there in the cheek. Kind of on the eyebrows. Kind of sy uh, symmetrical. Kind of nice actually. Got swipe, I'm guessing from another creature. Got it right there under the chin going down. Very cool. Thorns, I'm guessing she fell into something. Or these are like tribal scars that they would have given to them on purpose. Wyvern. Again, this might be one of those kind of scars that they get as a clan member. I'm not 100% sure because I doubt the Wyverns gave them this scar. They, it is very too weird. But yeah, you only get five, technically four. I kind of, this, this wyvern one's kind of my favorite, but I don't mind uh, this one. I kind of like you got this huge, like, scar on your face there. Very cool. Now, earrings, you got a bunch of them compared to the males. Like, I am talking, you are loaded, ladies, with all your different options. Just, let's just start from number two. So, you got some gold hoopies. Very nice, very cool. You got some gold, more hoopies. Uh, this thing got four. Asymmetry, you got three there, one there. Not too bad. Got more. A lot of these are kind of the same. Now this one, someone literally, it's called plug, but someone just took a hunk of gold and said, here, put it in your ear. That's all you're pretty much doing. Bone helix is kind of cool. Same thing, you got hunks of gold hanging from your ear and a little bit of bonage sticking out. Iron hoops. Now these ones, a little heavy I would think, but hey, they look nice at least. I'll give them that. It looks very cool. More, you get some iron hoops now, so the gold ones. You got tusks sticking out of your ear now, with a hunk of gold sticking out of it. Very nice, I think it looks a lot better, I guess, but, uh, you know, you choose what you want. Now they're head dang off a little more, you still got the one for the previous one, and you got little extra tusks. This one is just bone, or tusks, I would assume, sticking out of your ear. Ivory. Pretty sure this is the same as, yeah, this is the same as dangling. Except now you have stuff in your ear on this side, and this one's blank. And this one is just a mix between the couple that we've seen already. And that's kind of it. So you have 13 total options. A lot of them are just the same ones kind of mixed in, like dangling and ivory. is pretty much the same thing. But hey, you know what? At least you get all sorts of fun stuff. And with this, you get less options in the mail. You either get a gold ring, or you get some bones. Now the necklace, I'm actually, I kind of like the necklace idea. So this bone one is very cool, I like it. And then you have this nice gold, I mean not gold, and then you have this choker. This one, I, uh, it's, it's okay. But this one, this one's my, is my top tier of my favorite if I made a female orc. 
Now with the female orc, obviously she doesn't get the option to upright or anything because they're not hunched down, but you still get the same tattoos as the male. I think this one just looks better on the female, to be honest. I don't know, something about it just looks way better. And again, you get all the same colors as the male. I guess the uh, war paint versions. This is Beast, Ghost, and Bloodlust. Very nice. I like this one. This one looks like someone literally smeared blood on your head. Very cool. And you got the same color. White, blue, yellow, and of course red. Now this is a very short episode. Well, video of the alpha. Uh, not alpha. The beta of, uh, of uh, Shadowlands. And another thing I just want to add real quick before we end this off is that I like how this looks like they almost ran out of paint down here on her leg. So it's kind of like a little thinner, a little more, kind of looks like a small gap in between the, the strokes of the brush. Very, very cool. So until next time, everybody, keep those axes sharp, but your mind sharper. Have a good one, folks.